Howdy y'all, this is Tony with Lone Star Worms, and today we are going to be talking about this ad which is out on the internet and purports to show the effects of vermicompost on some vegetables planted at the same time. Now if we're to believe this picture, vermicompost increases the growth rate of your vegetables by about 5x. Now, I love using worm castings as fertilizer in my garden, but I found this photo a little bit hard to believe. So I thought I'd go about trying to recreate a sample just like what I saw and see what happens. So let's get into it. For my experiment, I am using some vermiculite and I had to find some basic soil that didn't have any fertilizer added. So I just used a topsoil. Nothing special about it at all. And then the final ingredient, of course, is some worm castings direct from my worm bins. I determined how much soil was going to be in each container, and then I used a scale to measure the appropriate amount of weight of worm castings, and then mixed it in a wheelbarrow so that I had the four different soil sample groups. So on March 9th, I planted some green beans and tomatoes at the 0, 5, 10, and 20% proportions. And now the waiting begins to see what happens. So after about 10 days, we had sprouts on the 0%, the 5%, and the 10%. I was a little surprised the 20% never germinated and it could have either been bad siege, which I think is probably unlikely. Probably more likely what happened is the 20% of vermicompost added a little bit too much moisture into the soil and they were unable to germinate. And just as a sideline comparison, I planted a couple at the same time in some regular miracle Grow soil and we can see the effect that that miracle Grow with the fertilizer had on the seeds. Not surprising with the extra nitrogen, those miracle Grow green beans really took off. Here we are a month later, I've moved the plants to bigger containers, maintaining the proportions of all the ingredients. And you can see they're all pretty much about equal now. And here we are today, May 24th, and all of the plants are doing equally well. None of them have had additional fertilizer added to them, and they are all producing green beans. This is just a quick look at the rest of my garden, which has some worm castings and regular three-week applications of organic fertilizer. And these are some bush beans planted in miracle Grow soil that are also producing quite well. What do we do with all those green beans? It is time to harvest and cook some dinner. I'm going to go ahead and call this photo busted. Although I did reach out to the author and she promised that this is a real photo and that these seeds were planted at the same time. My experience just was not the same, and I don't see how worm castings with the very low amount of nitrogen in them could possibly cause plants to grow at 3 to 5x the rate of a plant without any worm castings added to it. Worm castings are a great addition to the soil. They've got a lot of microbial benefits. However, they have almost... No nitrogen or other fertilizing properties, so it's not realistic to expect that you're going to get exponential vegetable growth just using worm castings. My recommendation is to use the worm castings in addition to your traditional organic fertilizers. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and please leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts.